In this video, I want to talk about uh, different applications for audio on Twitter. Now, for a long time, you've been able to post your pictures up on different sites or using uh, different applications through your mobile phone and then automatically tweet to them at the same time. But audio has been a bit different. It's been a little while coming. Actually, that's not completely true. There was very early on in Twitter, there was a site where you could do this but uh, that disappeared off the scene so perhaps it was a bit too ahead of its time but uh, recently these various audio things have been cropping up for Twitter one of them tweet mic if you have an iPhone then if you get the tweet mic application this is very useful because you can do it all through your iPhone just visit the iPhone app store to get it and when somebody tweets using the tweet mic app on iPhone you link to it from uh, Twitter. This is one of Rob Somerville's tweet casts, and you can see it looks like this. You can share it. Very simple page, but that's what people will see when he tweets that. Or, of course, if you're looking on, a, if you're not looking through the web version, then you might see something different. We also have this one here, Phonevite. This is one that you actually phone in for. You can ring in, leave your message via the phone, and then it gets tweeted out. So you can share via the phone that isn't an iPhone. Yes, there are other phones apart from iPhones, of course. So uh, Phonevite is another one here. And uh, one I just found, which I used yesterday and was really impressed with, it looks like it's still in fairly early stages and doesn't look to be many people using it because uh, this seems to be the latest Twardio, as I think it's said. This is the latest Twardio that was posted and I posted this a day ago and I'm still fairly close to the top. So I'm guessing not many people are using this at the moment but uh, I really liked it. You can, this is a bit of a scary page, if I click on this, your clips, and the website is uh, twaud.io, and uh, you have to get into your Twitter account. It basically asks for permission to link to your Twitter account, and you can choose to uh, upload or record your audio into it directly. Now let me show you how that works. So if we go to audio. Now there's two versions. Let's go to record first. I haven't actually posted this to Twitter. I did test it out and I wasn't overly impressed with the quality of the sound, but I'm happy to give it a go. So all you need to do is click the record button this is a test to see how the Twardio audio sounds when you record directly into it. And then you just click it again to stop. You can listen back to it. You won't hear that, but I, uh, what's playing back into my headphones is actually quite fuzzy. But I'm going to give it a try. Sorry, while I type this. Direct. This is a test. See how the audio on Twitter. Now, obviously, I can't play this back to you. So either check my Twitter account, which is Lisa Hartwell, or I will post this because I'll show you something in a moment. Let me just uh, send that and it will upload it. You can actually record 30 minutes worth of audio. That is a lot of audio uh, if you want to record there. So uh, we've posted that. Let me just go to Twitter. And you can see it's appeared on my Twitter page there. This is a test, see how the audio on to audio. So let's click there and it opens it up. Oh, it's going crazy. So um, that's how it sounds. Look, you can read, other people can retweet this and they can also download it, which is uh, quite a useful thing. So if you click download, Okay, what I should have actually done was right click on it, I should think. Oh. Okay, now is not the time. So as you see, if I right click on it, you can save link as. So you could save that to your desktop or, or to a file anyway if you wanted to keep it. Now if I go to my clips on that, what you'll also see is it it's actually creates two things. It creates a link so uh, you can download it. Also, if you click podcast, You've actually got 
Oh, people are already listening to it very quickly. It actually, you've got your own feed here, so you can uh, subscribe to that feed and you can let other people know where that feed is. So that's very useful as well. It's uh, it's like a, sep- a, a, a sort of brand new way of uh, creating a new podcast. Now, as you can see, uh, I've got two sound clips. Total listens, 109. 20 listens just since I posted that on Twitter. People sound- hearing me just going, this is a test. But finally, the other way of doing it, if we go back to this, as you can see, it's still in fairly beta stages. And and if you look down here, it says they're going to be adding embeddable players, iPhone version and lots more. So fingers crossed that will be the case and they will will do all that. I'm sure it costs them quite a bit to um, store all this audio because they do say um, only MP3 files of less than 10 megabytes are supported at this time. 10 megabytes is a lot of audio. Um, as you saw on the other version, on the other way, when you're recording directly, they'll let you record around 30 minutes of audio. 10 megabytes of audio. Well, it wouldn't fit in the podcasts that I do for Secret Women's Business Network unless I really downgraded them or split them up. But certainly, you could get maybe a 15 minute fairly decent quality podcast on there so that's still pretty good going Uh, so it means that you could do podcasting and as well as posting your podcast in the usual place whatever means you use you can also upload your mp3 to twitter and maybe uh, reach other people who wouldn't normally see it so this is the way you upload your mp3 click on browse and that will open up your folders. I don't want to go there. I'm going to pause this because I need to find where it is. It's in one of my folders and it might take me a little while. Okay, I found it in one of my folders. Now this is something I actually posted on my blog the uh, other day. It's uh, The Booth's Got Talent which uh, our wonderful producer Mark created uh, where I am based as a voiceover. So all I'm going to do is click to open that that's put it in there. You can then pop in your message again. Now, as I said, you're not going to be able to hear the audio from here and the quality of it. So what I'm going to do is if you're watching this video on the blog, whether it be my Audible Marketing blog or whether it be the SWBN blog, then I shall post the actual audio clips below Uh, this video and you can hear them. If you're watching on YouTube then all you need to do is click the link over to the right there. Uh, It should be audiblemarketing.com. Click that link and you will go to this post. I'll make sure it takes you directly to this post and you will be able to hear the audio on the blog post. So let's audio it and there it is. I won't let that play at the moment, but that will now have been posted to my Twitter as well. There we go. And there we have it. So I'm just going to leave you with this, and you may not be into doing a lot of audio. I really would uh, suggest that you you get into it, because if you think about it now, uh, you've now got the opportunity to create audio in all sorts of different situations whether it be out and about when you've got a bit of time free you can use your iPhone or you can just uh, use something like PhoneVite to phone in messages that you can share with people when you've got a free moment you can use it to create new podcasts or you can post your current podcast using one of these methods as well for somebody like me as a voiceover this obviously has a lot of Uh, great scope for me to post my new demos, any new work I've done, anything that might interest people. I've seen other people use it just to update their followers. So if you've got quite a big following and you just wanted to send a quick message to update them with what you're doing, it's another way of keeping that contact and creating that and building that relationship with them. Uh, Competitions even, you could uh, use it to create a competition. I've seen Stephen Fry tweeting, I think he uses TweetMic. In fact, I'm sure he does because he's a, a big iPhone fan. So lots of different uses for it. If you are going to use it, send me a tweet to Lisa Hartwell because I would really love to find out how people are using this.